Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, Part 163. And in this segment, I'm driving this fucking thing, for Country Squire. Because I said so. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's, it's a silly thing, so let's upgrade this bitch to a C-Class. Get all that good shit on it. Heck yeah. And I don't know how much I want to downgrade this thing, because this is a big-ass wagon. Shaggin' wagon. Eh. Yeah, I guess I'll get it. it has 510 foot-pounds of torque. God damn. Yeah, let's just downgrade it to 406. Sure, that'll work. That will work for me. So here we go. Oh no! Damn it! Fuck! I I did the thing again. You begin your career in the amateur. All right, that's the second time I've done this. I'm actually surprised it's only been the second time. Accidentally picking the world. Why can't I skip this? I really wish I could skip this, but no. Ah! Damn it! Anyways, to the event list. And the Ford Classic Showcase. Limited to pre-1974 Fords. And here's what everyone else is driving. And Jones is a retard for not upgrading his car to C-Class. And let's go for four races. Starting at Sonoma. Okay, here we go. Time to fucking... <laughs> win the race with this big-ass country squire. Aw, oh, yeah. God, passing everybody. Oh, going into the dirt. All right. Why not the old Boss 302? Because this thing's far more silly. I felt like using a silly car. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the whole turn th turn three thing. Hey, just dive on the bottom. You'll pass them, guaranteed. And now I broke my transmission. Very good. As well as most of the right front corner. Nice. I also broke uh, Taylor's ass, and that's another thing I broke. This is fucking great. Like, classic Ford showdown. You have a bunch of Mustangs and everything. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, a Fairlane and a Country Squire. Because why the hell not? These were the ultimate Ford muscle cars of the 60s and early 70s. Don't let the records fool ya. Is this a wagon of? It's just a wagon. It's a wagon of time funds. Why are you stopping here, Davis? Well, it gives me a really good shot to lead, at least. And there we go. So I can kind of tell by this race that um, Sebring Club's gonna probably be a bit of a bitch to win. But uh, I'm sure I'll, you know, do it. Taking the true NASCAR line around that turn. AKA fuck track boundaries, just don't hit the tires. Oh no, why the fuck am I? Whatever. Where am I going? I almost, like, went straight on towards the uh, chicane. That's not the correct place to go. And around the almost final turn. Hey, Q. So you have a new name. 
been two months already. All right, I see. There we go. Country Squire takes race one. In dominant fashion, ended up winning by six seconds over Davis. Goddamn. And then there's fucking Jones and his E class Pinto. There we go. We finally made it. So, race one down. Three more to go in the swag and wagon. And yeah, another affinity level up. Sweet. Alright, race two at Sedona. Club reverse. Fuck year. Loves me some Sedona. So, here we go. Just pass all the man stags. All of the man stags. Oh, excuse me. Hi, guys. What's up? I think we were three wide there. Yeah, Williams is still next to me. She like, heck off, kid. Thank you. And Alfred Davis. Still love how these all these Mustangs are being beaten. Not only by a, this fucking wagon, but also a Ford Fairlane. It's like, you think the top AI cars would be, you know, consistently Mustangs. Now, let's just put the top guy in a fair lane, sure. Why the hell not? Oh, where am I going? That's, that's grass. Get out of the grass. Dude, Sedona is my house. This is, this is my tra- oh shit. This is my track as I go flying off into the grass. Downshift is, you know, a good idea. Yes. I see you back there, Davis. Ford in this race, but I think that the Falcon in this race is not Australian. I think that's like an actual Falcon that was released over here. You know, similar to the Vagabond Falcon. Because regular car reviews. I'm really not paying attention right now. I should probably attempt to actually drive this car well. Instead of just fucking looking all over the place and... Yeah. Basically sucking giant ass. Man, that body roll. That's got a lot of body roll. Oh, the XB is an Aussie Falcon? Oh, okay. See, I don't know these things, so, you know, pardon my idiocy. And my assumption of knowledge. I do that a lot. Like, I, I just kind of do that a lot, and then afterwards I realize that I do it, and I'm like, I oh, fucking shut up. Will it roll? I'm sure this thing will roll. I really don't want to test it out, but, you know. here. Williams and Taylor trying to keep up. Yeah, Mustang's trying to keep up with the fair lane. No big deal. Oh, 
please make the turn. Okay. Honestly, I think this track might flow it's just slightly better in reverse than it does normally. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Either direction, this is, you know, a really fun track and I love it, so, yeah. And hey, there we go, I won by a whole five seconds. <laughs> Almost five and a half. And let's see how far behind Jones ends up. Yes, this car is the ultimate street sleeper. It's like, oh, it's just a fucking Ford Country Squire. Look at that little wagon thing. Oh god, it's fast. Still waiting on Jones. And there he goes. Didn't even get a sub five minute race. What a dumbass. That's what do you get for not upgrading your car, Jones? Anyways, to race three. Well, I had a feeling I wasn't going to win this on my first try, but hey, you know, I got fairly close, so. You know. So, attempt two at Sebring Club. So I'm going to get a slightly better start this time, i.e., don't touch the brakes. Let's just, um, instead wedge my car in between a bunch of months. Muster Rangers. And I basically end up in the same position that I, uh, was the last attempt. Oh boy. Really wanted to dive on the items there, but wasn't close enough. Also didn't break late enough. Here, I'm going for it. There we go. Easy pass. Why did I go through the middle again? I was hoping that they wouldn't close the fucking gap. But then again, I don't know why I keep hoping that when nine times out of ten they do close that gap. Hello, Davis. How you doing? And this is the part where he pulls away from me because he's got a faster car down a straight line. It's not just... I hear some contact behind me. Looks like it's between Brown and Taylor. So you fucking duke it out for fourth position. Oh, 1.3. Gotta get closer, man. Oh, wow, he's gotten... Davis gets pretty much his entire car off the track approaching this turn. That's interesting. having some slight difficulties driving this fair lane. When did the Moon Man raid happen? I don't fucking know. I think it was during F1 uh, F1 2010, well, F1 2000. I just don't know which race. Here, Davis. I'm not through with you. I'm not through with you yet, Roman. Runs full speed into the ambulance door. God, I love Braun Strowman. He's so great. Alright, probably gonna have to do a dirty pass. Or if I can get a good run out of here. And dive. Davis gives me room. There we go. Okay. No dirty pass. I 
That was GT5 B spec Nurburgring. Okay. See, I don't remember. No, you don't, Davis. Got to mirror drive, because this car's faster. Okay. I cut him off. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. I have wind. So, from the knowledge I now have, the last race is probably going to be just as hard. Because it has an even longer uh, full throttle stretch, but well, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Come on, Jones. Holy shit. There he goes. 28, 27 seconds behind Miller. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, anyways, last race of the series. Ah. Alright, final race here at the peninsula for the reverse, uh, <coughs> reverse club course. How bad was the rain's beat down at Payback? Oh no, I didn't watch Payback. I just saw the fucking backstage scene after the match. With Braun running full fucking steam into the ambulance. <clears throat> Got four wide behind me almost. Hello. Okay, I can I sneak around Taylor. The answer is yes, alright. I'm actually surprised I managed to pull that off. What the hell line are you guys taking? That guy's doing some IndyCar shit. It's like, oh, we gotta break the slipstream. Alright, Davis, let's do this shit. Let's see how much of a gap you get here. Down front straight. Yeah, I absolutely love how they're booking Braun Strowman. It's a shame, though, that they're just gonna have a Lesnar most likely decimate him. Because Brock Lesnar, <laughs> How you doing, Davis? You did not gain nearly as much time on me down the straight than I was expecting. Like, going by what happened at Sebring to what just happened there, he didn't pull away much. Hey, I like Roman, I just don't like the way he's booked. Roman Reigns is an actual good wrestler. And I think he's been getting way too much shit from the fans lately. Like, I understand, like, it's, oh, hey, Roman's getting beat the fuck down. Instead of, you know, being the dominant baby face. Like, I can understand cheering that, but saying you deserve it. You deserve being severely wounded. That's just, that's a little bit over the line. And by a little bit, I mean over the line. It's like, okay, let's not be fuck. Ah! Hello, speaking of over the line, I went over the line and into the grass. To the campsite off track we go. Actually, quite a lot easier than expected because you know, I'm like, oh no, long front straight, Taylor, or not Taylor, Davis is probably gonna pull the fuck away from me. Also, speaking of, um, Taylor actually got around Davis here. 
We're actually gonna have a Mustang finish as the top AI car. Whoa. Fairland didn't take the full sweep on them. But the Country Squire did. That's all that matters because it's fucking wagon. Swag and wagon. Swag and wagon is the victorious wagon, swagging, blagging, schlagging. I'm just trying to fucking kill time before Jones crosses the line. If he ever crosses the line. There he goes. Alright. That time almost a full half minute behind uh, whoever the hell finished seventh. And look. Hey, level up. Getting ever so much closer to level 100. Nice. And another 207,000 credits, which is good because, hey, money. Fuck yeah. So, there we go. The Ford Classic Showcase is complete. The wagon has dominated. So, next time on Forza 4, we will move on to more classic muscle cars and probably something a little less silly. Stay tuned for that.